2017, I got a Project Pitchfork tattoo on the inside of my right forearm. Now, a lot of people ask me uh, about it, you know, what is it? Where did you get it? How'd you find the design? What's, what's it mean? What's the significance? So I tell people, I listen to a, a gothic industrial dark wave uh, band from Germany called Project Pitchfork, and this was one of their logos, and I really, really liked it. Uh, I saw it in 2015 when I first heard the song Rain, and I started to uh, you know, research the band a little bit more, uh, more on the music. And I really liked the music, bought a bunch of CDs since then. From 2013 on, I started with uh, the Black CD and moved on from there. Uh, really, really liked them. Kick-ass, cool music. The lyrics are also quite dark, uh, typically revolving around death, uh, what happens before, during, and after. Uh, so it's really interesting music, interesting lyrics. Uh, enjoy it quite a bit. Now, at the time, I was listening to a few other German groups. I have a few of their CDs as well. It's uh, Wolfsheim, Blue Tengel, Rammstein, End One, Die Krups, and uh, the American group Combi Christ. Uh, now, all similar style of music. Uh, really heavy sound, uh, abrasive lyrics, dark lyrics. Really, really, really cool stuff. Uh, just the kind of stuff I like to listen to. Now, stereotypically, people would think since, you know, I'm from a farm in central Pennsylvania in the middle of nowhere, I'd be into country music or uh, that kind of thing, but uh, I don't care for country music. Uh, as far as the band goes, uh, I don't know much about them, except there's uh, three men in the group, plus a drummer who should be the fourth member of the group. Uh, I mean, I, like I said, I know nothing about them. They're German. Uh, I don't know what their political views are, I don't know where they stand on social issues, but you know, to me, I, I can give a fuck really. I'm, I'm here for the music, and, uh, not about what they think or believe, which could be different from mine, but you know, uh, I've thought about some, you know, who are these people, what are they like, so uh, I figure I start reaching out to some of the fans, you know, just to try to connect with them a little bit. So anyway, I did a Google search one time, a uh, Project Pitchfork logo tattoo, just to see if there's anyone besides me that has this similar tattoo well I found a lady who happens to be uh, a few hours east of me uh, in the Harrisburg region or maybe even uh, a little bit farther northeast in uh, Pennsylvania and uh, you know she had a small uh, black tattoo on her forearm as well and um, you know I clicked on the picture it led me to her Instagram page I just wanted to you know chat with her about this uh, unbeknownst to me the woman was an extremely fucking rude bitch uh, she was a DJ, she claimed to be, and uh, I did ask her about the tattoo and what it meant. And she said it was uh, in remembrance of a friend who was a fan of Project Pitchfork. They used to listen to it together. Now, that's about as nice as the conversation got. But, you know, she's really apprehensive and even chatting with me. And I could tell, you know, just by the way she was chatting, she was going through my Instagram uh, photos. And she saw that I'm, uh, that I'm somewhat of a social conservative, so she called me a... Uh, fuck this and fuck that and a few other things and that conversation was done but you know whatever bitch fuck you then you know no reason to be rude uh, I'm just trying to connect with fans but then I turned to the Facebook page uh, Project Pitchfork official Facebook page and uh, you know I reached out you know to other American fans open minded is there any open minded American fans of Project Pitchfork that you know want to chat and, uh, just like to ask them the questions about the band and who they are what are the concerts are like and yeah, about the gothic subculture a little bit so this woman uh, on the state west of me ohio uh you know, we talked a little bit chatted on messenger back and forth and uh, she enlightened me in who they are uh you know what they're like what the concerts are like so that was pretty nice and reasonable so you know at least she didn't make me feel like an outcast among outcasts in the gothic subculture but if i'm i'm not even really a gothic i just like the gothic type music and I do like their clothing somewhat. I'm just not gothic myself, but but if I ever see them uh, come around in uh, Pennsylvania again or tour in the U.S., I will probably travel and see them. Uh, I saw some of the videos online. They have. Uh, they look like they're a lot of fun. So, but anyway, uh, in closing here, I'm just gonna add more pictures at the end of this video uh, with the tattoo as I'm getting it, and a few pictures I took of the tattoo afterwards. So, hope you enjoy it. Uh, you have yourselves a great afternoon.